What's up? I'm Brett with Premier Guitar. I'm here in Elslip, Illinois at Peterson Tuners, and I'm here with Mike. And Mike, uh, we just found out, is the inventor of the first virtual strobe tuner, and that's some pretty juicy stuff. So uh, let's dig in. Mike, what are we looking at right here? Well, here we're looking at one of the older models. Uh, these traditional strobe models actually require a spinning disc. So there's a motor and a disc, and there's uh, flashing lights behind that, that disc. And that's how we get the strobe effect. So that actually requires uh, mechanical motion. Uh, the virtual strobe tuners that we uh, came up with in the late 90s, actually, um, don't require that. They're all, they use uh, LCD screens. Sure. Uh, so we get the same effect. It's a patented technology with Peterson uh, without having to actually have a physically moving disc. And a uh, virtual strobe, like the VS2 right over here, I see we have one. Yes. Yeah, that's one of the earlier models, uh, VS2. We've got, uh, I guess, four models, five models now of different types, different formats, uh, stomp boxes, rack models, and so on. So, so what, what drove uh, from the disc to this style, and what was it like working on the project when it first started? Well, actually, I conceived of the idea about the first week I was here because I was working on uh, starting to do a version of the traditional strobe disc model. And it occurred to me that, you know, there's a lot of uh, overhead involved with, you mm -hmm. know, motors are kind of expensive, mechanical motion and so on. Uh, if there would be a way to do that without actually having to physically move anything, it could be done with less expense and more reliable and so on. Sure, a natural progression. Sure, yeah. So uh, so that's really what, was what instigated that concept. And how long, um, how long was your research and development period on it from, you know, conception to you guys released the first one? Well, the when we actually started in earnest to design it, I would say it was about probably three months before we got something that actually had a working screen, and then probably another few months until we had a finished product that we could actually sell. Oh, that's fantastic. And, uh, it, you know, from what I understand, it's just expanding and expanding. And Yes. I mean, the you know, there are different uh, uses. Well, the strobe, obviously, as a, as a concept it works great in all kinds of different uh, arenas, manufacturing, people playing on stage and so on. So uh, we've tried to accommodate the um, different uses in terms of some people want them in rec, 19-inch uh, rec uh, situations. Sure, for live record, uh, for live setting or maybe in a studio. Right. Stomp boxes, uh, people have pedal boards where they want to have the, the tuner right in front of them. Uh, models like this, manufacturers might have a tabletop situation. Sure, or a luthier shop. This exactly. is where, you know, this is pretty commonplace to see these. Yeah. Sure. Well, that's great that you're you're kind of delving out and meeting the needs of all these different platforms for players and sure. builders and, you know, recording situations. Right. And they, they all have their individual challenges, but um, it's, it's fun. It's, it's uh, you know, there's, it's, uh, you, you get calls every day from people who say, Man, this is great. You know, I have this, this situation. How can I get it to work in the situation to help everyone? And it's it's yeah. uh, a lot of fun to really see. You know, there's a lot of musicians out there who really appreciate what we do for them. Well, I think generally speaking, people like to be in tune. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, that's a good start. Yeah. Well, there you have it. I'm Brett. You're locked on to PremierGuitar.com. <laughs>